More extreme catfishing here. Doing the uh, Palmetto Trail. <clears throat> Seen that sign before. It's Palmetto Trail sign. One of the Palmetto Trail signs. <clears throat> so this is the. I started basically in the middle of the park, kind of sort of in the north side of the park. Um, this Palmetto Trail, from the maps that I could see, and from some of the information that I've read. It seems like this trail goes all the way up and intersects with the Watery Passage Trail. This particular trail goes all the way through the park, so what I may do is just go up to the Watery part if there's an indication of that. Usually when I get to that bridge up there, <clears throat> the first bridge or trussel, um, I'll, uh, I'll know where I'm at and then I'll turn around and do the south side of this trail. It says it's about two and a half miles. So I figure four miles a day. Not too bad. Not too shabby for a park trail. Per, uh, palmetto trail at that. And it's kind of cool because you see bugs are out here today. You see it kind of goes into a, like a little cave type for the trees. And I'm just basically surrounded by forest here and uh, weather's getting warmer so got to pay attention to what's around me saw a deer yesterday don't know if it was a buck or a doe because it was so lightning quick going across the road all I could see was this little white bushy tail so <sighs> alright just wanted to give you guys a Heads up to me starting a trail here. Trees down. Real bushy and <clears throat> drainage pipe right there. I'm gonna try to do better on the camera this time. I know I last primero one I was a little shaky, but I was exhausted. So that's the reason why that was that way, but we strive for better, right? All right, guys. Well, I'll be seeing y'all guys when I see something that's cool or give you an update. Stream catfishing, and I'm out. Work stream catfishing here. Came up on a turn in the Palmetto Trail here. Either go straight or it goes this way to Campbell's Pond, but the sign tells me to go that way. So. First of all, let me put my glasses on. Because those of you that know me so know I can't see anything without them. <clears throat> so we're going to go this way. Interesting. As you can see, the trail gets a lot smaller. And this is the Palmetto Trail portion of the, the trail. If I would have went straight, I think that would have took me to uh, the uh, Scout. It is cool in the woods here, so... And it gets into a little hilly area. So far, this is pretty cool. We got some steps up here. Shit. Sorry, spiderwebs everywhere. Who would think the guy that loves spiderwebs? So, as you can see, this, uh, <sighs> these steps here. So, I'm assuming this gets flooded. And these steps here. Or just another way to get up here for the trail. So let's go this way.
Oh wow, a little bridge. I wonder if this actually takes me to Campbell's Pond. A little brook right there. Looking out for wildlife. Nice. Big hole here. Collecting back the trash cans being used here. A little pan of what's around me here. Seems to be somewhat untraveled road here. Real nice, real nice. All right, just wanted to show you the the uh, trail marker there. I will uh, see you guys in tenfold. Stream cat fishing, and I'm out. All right, guys, looks like the Palmetto Trail is dumped out <clears throat> onto this little dirt road in the of the woods. And I was right, Campbell's Pond is actually something else because back right behind me, the trail breaks off to the right for Campbell's Pond <clears throat> and goes straight forward for the Palmetto Trail. So, I'm uh, going to keep going on this guy. Lots of puddles out here. And uh, just kind of see what I come across. Stream cat fishing, and I'm out, guys. It's your boy, stream cat fishing here. I want to show y'all guys something. I've been on this trail for a while, and I'm starting to get into a dirt area. And as you can see, these are deer trails. Gobs of them. They're everywhere. This must have been a travel lane for deer. See them here? And they're all over the place. Man, this must be one, one nicely traveled place to sit and pick up deer. Now the trails are everywhere. <laughs> They're all over the place. Right here. Gobs and gobs of deer trail. Just deer trail everywhere. So, just wanted to show y'all guys that. Wow, they're all over the place. Hey guys. Uh, what you see out here is a little, what looks like a pond. I can't really see it from the trail up here. I'm on the Palmetto Trail. And I uh, can't really see it. But if you look down there, a little stepping out. So I'm assuming this is a drinking spot. Nice drinking spot for the deer down there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Out in the middle of nowhere, there's this pond sitting here. Awesome.
Hey guys, still on the trail, nice hilly area. Trail kind of swoops by what looks like a sitting deer stand. Can't go over there because it's private property, but that's pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. All right, guys, this is right down here from that little deer stand I saw. That's the road I came from. And uh, looks like it just kind of dumps out here to this little swamp type creek or river. What I saw earlier, I thought it was an actual uh, uh, little pond, but it's actually a little swampy river that kind of goes through here. But there's some good fishing in there. Let me go back this way, see if the trail actually curves. It's like it just comes out here. And it just stops. All right. Let me uh, go back this way. Go this way. Ah, Palmetto Trail. There we go. So we're back on the mark. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. Hey y'all, gotten into some of the, the deeper woods and I know for a fact now that I'm on the watery trail because the trees, here's one coming up right now, oh that's a big tree, the trees are marked with this red blazer to let you know you're on the right trail and then there's a Palmetto Trail sign so I'm on the right trail I was kind of wondering there for a second but I'm on the right trail it's real uh, it's real woody up here almost like a forest. It's interesting because it's like it hear me wet my face. Just so you see, I mean this is a real small trail and uh, that's a drop off. A real incline. That must be about ooh, 50 degree angle maybe? 60? To the bottom. So. Looks like the trail just kind of goes in a loop for some reason. But it picks back up right here. So, yeah, like I was saying, in some sections you'll stand and 
you won't have to worry about mosquitoes for at least a few minutes. In some spots, you can't even stand for the two seconds before they're all around you. That's mostly because they're already swarming around the room towards the ground anyway. Uh, let's see. GPS says I'm going about 3.86 miles at this point. <clears throat> Take about a .5 off of that because that's what it took me to get from the campground to the head of the trail within the park. And uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I figure I either hike it till I get to one of the bridge trussles, the railroad trussles, or I hike it till about one, and then I turn around. That's gonna give me till about six to get back. And uh, oh, another bridge. Lots of bridges. Ooh, look at this cliff. Give you all an idea. I don't want to get too close, but uh, that's a big ass drop off. I have no idea how deep that is, but it is. I don't want to get stuck down there. Little bridge here. It looks like when it floods or rains, right off into that. No wonder that's so green. Yep. So, thought I'd just give you heads up on that and uh, see something else cool or get to another monument here. I'll holler at you. All right. Stream cat fishing. And I'm out. All right. Got to another cool spot here see these little steps going down here I mean that's just straight incline I do not want to fall down there <clears throat> and it's real narrow down here just wanted to kind of show you that it's just real wooded I mean, you can see, here's the road, here's the incline. So I gotta be real careful. A lot of branches and stuff on the trail following after my my teacher Terry if something's across the trail move it ah oh, cool so what we got here looks like it's some type of nope it's just a rock that was some type of nut. <clears throat> More steps. I don't know how these steps help me, but whatever. Probably help you more going up than down. <sighs> this is pretty awesome. Under the stick. It's off the trail. I went from a pretty open, open area to a real wooded type environment. Oh, 
Trail's blocked up here. As you can see, it's got a bunch of crap across it. All right, well, let me stop just to move this and I'll be back with y'all guys. All right, guys, I'm back. You can see the sign says I'm supposed to go left here. The interesting part is, okay, so there it is. It also gives me a GPS coordinates, which the other side didn't. Uh-huh. So those are those GPS coordinates for this location. That was kind of nice. So it just kind of dumps out into this little... Okay. Alright, so yeah, there's a sign right there. I didn't see it. <laughs> It tells you right there to turn that way down the trail. Okay, so that's good. It's up kept. So this is basically where I'm at now. It's like what looks to be a road that's been driven. Uh, pretty cool so far. Nice inclines. Real nice, real nice. So far the only wildlife I've seen has been mosquitoes. Ah, our first trussle folks, our first trussle. This must be where the bridge actually pops out. So, that way straight ahead must be the entrance way for parking. Uh-huh. Okay. Coolidge. Beautiful break point up here. Then I got this on camera. You see the bridge up there, you probably don't because it's a lot of light in this camera, but I'm steadily gaining on it. There's nine of these bridges. This is bridge number one. Used to be a train, train track, train trussle. Wow, that is a black ant pile. Yeah, that's that's a black ant pile. You see the ants coming out of it. Wow, I've never seen one of those before. There's the bridge. There she blows. Wow. I'm on the water retrail, trail, guys. Trestle one. Chain of lakes. This used to be a railroad train. There's nine of these. The thing about it is I took two hours to get here. So yeah guys, this is the first trestle on the watery passage of the Palmetto Trail. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. 
All right. Well, just in case you know, just so you know that this is me. It's your boy Extreme Catfishing. I'm on the first bridge, and I'm out.